Are you a new or relatively new coach looking for an easy and simple discovery call script that works? If you are, you're in the right place because that is what we are going to talk about today. Hi there, if you're new to this channel, my name is Louisa Joe, and at this point I have helped thousands of students go from employee to entrepreneur by building their own online coaching and or digital course business. When I first started and had to do my very first discovery call, sales call, whatever you want to call it, I had no sales experience. This was years ago and I was doing a completely different business. I was doing digital advertising consulting. And so I had to quickly look up, okay, how do you do a sales call? Couldn't find anything. The, the online coaching space was not nearly as uh, well developed as it is now. And so I basically just had to write down what I thought. I should ask a potential client. I scripted out the entire sales call. Then I hopped on the call. I was sweating bullets. I soaked through my shirt. That's how nervous I was. And I talked it through. I'm sure I probably sounded like a robot because I was reading, okay, all right, what do you think you would like to get from our work together? I don't remember exactly what I said, but I'm pretty sure it sounded like that or worse. Thankfully, at the end of that call, the client did hire me because I'd already spoken with her for over two weeks back and forth and given her a lot of advice. So she knew what I, I knew what I was talking about. But if she hadn't, I definitely probably would not have made that sale. And so at this point though, quite a few years later, having helped thousands of people with their own discovery calls and sales calls, and myself having at this point sold personally well over a million dollars in my own coaching packages. I don't know the exact number. I do know it's well over a million. So I want to make sure I'm telling you a number that's in integrity uh, and without being salesy, right? That's very important to me. I want to make sure that whoever I'm working with, they want to work with me. Yes, I'm happy to coach them through their fears, the investment, talk through all of that, but I'm not going to be pushy. I'm not going to do any crazy tactics to be like, oh my God, you need to buy now or else or anything like that. And so that's the easy, simple, non-salesy script that I'm going to walk you through today. So let's get right into it. The first step in the script, and when someone comes on in, there's a lot of advice where sometimes people will say, look, do some chit chat, do uh, to really build a personal connection. I'm not a big fan of that. And that's because when someone's coming to me, they know why they're getting on the call. They're wanting to know if it's a good fit to hire me. And so I like to set the tone in the right way that we're gonna do business. And I say, hey, thanks so much for uh, getting on this call with me. I'm excited to see if we're a fit. Can you share a little bit about what had you reaching out? By the way, everything I'm going to say and am saying on this script with you, feel free to take the words and modify them to use your own words and voice. That's very important. The power in this script is not so much using the exact words. It's understanding the flow. It's understanding the words that you can use and then customizing all of this for yourself for what feels best. That's how it's going to work best for you. And so I'll say that. And the reason why I say that is because I want someone to really share with me, okay, I reached out because I've been following you for this amount of time. Something you said really resonated with me. I really love your background or whatever. I want to understand why they want to work with me specifically, because when you're selling coaching, it's an intimate relationship. You're going to be talking to that person frequently and for a good length of time. And so I want to make sure it's not just some random person coming off the street who doesn't know me and is just saying, oh, okay, well, I, I don't know. I thought it might be cool. I mean, that's probably not going to happen that often, but you, you, you get the point. You want to make sure that you are a good fit for them and that they are a good fit for you. So an, another key thing is to think about the discovery call or the sales call either term works, not as an interview where they're interviewing just you, but also a mutual decision. They have to decide you're a good fit for them. And you have to decide that they are a good fit for you as well. So I'll talk to you that. I'll really make sure that I understand that they want to work with me, what they're interested in, make sure they're the right fit, right? That should take just a few minutes. And then after that, what I want to do is I want to start really understanding what their challenges are. So I want to understand where they're struggling. And the key to this is for them to really share and remind themselves of why they couldn't, why they wanted to hire a coach and for me to understand if I can help them. And so I will ask, 
hey, thanks so much for sharing that. That's really good to know that, you know, whatever they shared. So you always want to make this a conversation. You don't want to just be saying questions and moving on as if you're grilling them. That's not going to feel good to anybody. So when it feels appropriate, I'll share that and then say, can you share a little bit more about what you've tried and what isn't working? And so at this point, people will share, I've tried this, this, and this, this isn't working because, and you know, I'm just tired of trying to figure it out on my own. And you're looking, listening for the things that I just mentioned a minute ago for, to see if they're a good fit to help you and vice versa, or good fit to work with you and you'd help them. And so what you do want to do is dig a little bit deeper. You want to make sure this is someone who is committed, who is ready to do the work with you, who is not expecting to hire you and just have you do the work for them or to basically pay you and then have their problem be magically solved. That's not how coaching works. And so I will share, okay, can you, or I will ask, can you share a little bit more about this? Can you tell me how long you've been doing this or how does that feel? Or why do you think that didn't work? Because I want to understand what's going on in someone's head when they're reaching out to me. That's what's really going on here. And it's important for them to understand as well. So they can, if, if it's a right fit, come into working with you in a frame of uh, confidence and optimism instead of thinking, okay, I know I hired this person, but nothing else has worked. So this probably won't work either. That's not setting either of you guys up for success, right? So I'll do that. And after I feel like I've understood enough and you notice that I will be asking questions to continue to go through that conversation after that, then I will ask, okay, that, you know, when I feel like I've heard enough and gotten what I needed to know, I'll say, thanks so much for sharing that. I can see why uh, you reached out and whatever I have to say related to what they shared. I might say, and this always has to be true, of course, but things I might say would be, Hey, I've been there. I've helped this many people through that. There's, you're actually reminding me of a specific client who went through this situation and we worked together on this, fix that, and they got this amazing result. So those are all things that you can share based on whatever is coming up for you in the conversation. After that, then I'll transition into, okay, now that we've talked about what's going on, can you share a little bit about if we were to work together, what you would be hoping for, what the end results that you would want to have would be? Now, here's the thing. There's always an end result. Even if what you help people with feels intangible, there's still an end result. So even, so if you help someone, for example, lose weight, then it's tangible. I want to lose X pounds. I want to fit into my favorite skinny jeans, things like that. Now, if you do something that's a little less tangible, like let's say stress coaching, right? There's still a result. I want to be able to sleep through the night without staying awake from my insomnia. I want to be able to be with my kids and not be stressing out about work, right? So there are still symptoms of the result, even if it's not like I'm going to decrease my stress from hundred percent to 50%, because what does that mean? Right? So I want to make that very clear because that's a common question I get. So you want to ask and understand. And the point here is to understand first, if you can help that person get that result, very important. And you want to also make sure that the expectation of the results that they have are realistic. So if I'm working with someone and let's say I'm on, I'm on a discovery call and they come to me and say, Hey, I have never built a business before and I want to make a million dollars next month. I would say I'm not the best person to help you with that. Right. Um, and so those are all things that you want to be listening for in that time frame, And that's going to also help you get an idea for how you're going to work with that person. If it's a good fit to help them achieve those goals in the, the time frame that you work together. So after you share that, then when you have heard all of this, absorbed it, and you believe that you guys are a good fit to work together, what you would say at a natural stopping point is thank you so much for sharing this. Based on what you shared, I am confident that I can help you do whatever result that they want. And so what I'd love to do now is share a little bit about how I would work with you to do that. Does that sound good? Super simple, right? Because that's why they came on the call. So you're not being salesy. You're just saying, okay, we've gotten the facts. We've understood what we needed to do and talk through. Now let me share how I can help you get what you want. And so of course that person's going to say yes. And so then what you would do is you would go into all right, so let's, uh, here's how, what I see. And so based on the questions that you've asked up until now and that the answers that they've shared, you're going to be able to understand, okay, this is what I'm seeing. Um, we can work together for three months. That'll be enough to help you do this, this, and this. And the way I see it is in month one, we're going to focus on this and aim to get you this result. 
in month two, we're gonna do this and focus on this. Month three, we're gonna focus on this. And through working together based on what you shared, right? This is the number one thing we're gonna uh, fix first based on your number one problem. And what doing that is gonna get you to A, B, and C. So what I wanna share with you, I hope you can hear through my example, is that I'm basically mapping out the plan to the client. I'm not doing coaching. You're not, a sales call, a discovery call is not to do free coaching. Let's make that very clear. But what you do wanna do is make it clear how you're gonna to work together with that client to help them achieve that result because that is part of the discovery call. So there's a very fine line there. It's not coaching, but you're mapping out the, okay, here's how we're gonna to work together to get what you want. And I will say that is one of the most powerful pieces of my discovery call process. And it's one of the reasons my discovery calls, back when I did them, I don't do them anymore, but back when I did them worked so well and I had incredibly high sales rates because I would make it clear, look, I don't expect you to just you know, trust or make the investment right away. I'm gonna be very strategic with how we work together so that you know, I can't guarantee the results because you do have to do the work, I can't do it for you, but it's very clear to me how we're gonna get you there. I've done this before for myself, for others, whatever that looks like. And so that really helps your client understand, oh, okay, this is why it wasn't working before. This is how we're gonna fix it. This is the timeline. We're gonna be focusing on these results and I can see how that's possible. That is super important. And so after you share that, and I want you to notice, yes, I would mention, okay, and the way we're gonna do that is through this many calls, you're gonna get email support, all of that. But the features, the, the calls and the email support and whatever else they get is secondary compared to me laying out the strategy or on your call, you laying out the strategy for how it's going to happen. Because honestly, if you can help me get the result I want, do I care if I get three calls a month or four calls a month or two calls a month? No, that's secondary, right? That's a very common mistake I see where people will focus too much on, okay, you get this many calls and you do this and then uh, this is how we're gonna work together. That's important to share, sure, but not nearly as important as how working together will help you get the result that you want. Very important distinction. So after you share that, then what you're going to share is, okay, so how does that sound? Does that sound like a good fit? And you're gonna to listen to what that person has to say. Are they thinking it is a good fit or are they thinking mm, no, or do they have questions? That's where you're gonna talk it all out. And if they're saying, hey, yes, all of this sounds like a great fit, I'm in, let's talk about the money part. That's when you say, okay, great, let's talk about the money. And so uh, there are lots of ways to do this. You can say, okay, great, let's talk about the investment or a um, phrase that I learned from uh, Laura Wright, who is a great sales coach is, um, would you like to talk about the dollars and cents? I first heard it from her. And so uh, I know this is a relatively common phrase, but giving credit where credit is due. And so Basically, it was just a fun way. It felt fun for me to ask, hey, would you like to talk about that? And so that person is going to say yes. And so you stay in your confidence and you share, hey, okay, quick recap. We're gonna to work together for this amount of time. We're going to do this, this, and this to get you to this result. And that's going to include this many calls and whatever features. The investment for that is X per month or there is a pay in full discount of X dollars. So notice that I'm regrounding into this is what you get. It's not just, hey, here's the money, right? It's, okay, this is why that value is uh, more than the, the investment for whatever it is that it's going to be. And I'm also sharing the payment options in a very simple way. A lot of people are gonna prefer a payment option. Some people are gonna prefer to pay in full. And the way I position is if you pay in full, you get a pay in full discount because it's more work for me to have to uh, collect payments and I bear, the, for the convenience of offering a payment, there is gonna be an additional charge, right? And so you say that, it's very clear. And then here's the thing. After you say that, you stay quiet and you let that person feel into how does that feel? So you could say, and that's the investment, all right, let me know what's coming up for you. So you can see, this is actually what I say on my, on my sales calls or back when I did them because I'm very conversational. There's no pressure, there's no fear. I'm very confident in the value I'm delivering and you absolutely should be as well. I understand that it's an exchange of value. I'm not you know, taking someone's money if they don't wanna pay me or doing anything bad. I'm giving amazing value and I deserve to be paid for it. And I'm coming from that place. That's where you wanna come from as well. That energy, that confidence is way more important than any one specific or couple of specific words that you could say. And so I'll do that. And then with that, I'll wait. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm gonna let that person let me know how they feel. If they say, okay, that's amazing, I'm in. Okay, great. Let's take your credit card payment or however you wanna pay on the phone, we'll, um, you know, send you a coaching contract and then we'll schedule our first call and get started. I'll send you whatever welcome materials that you need. Super easy. 
If someone says, okay, I need to think about it, or I don't know about how I'm going to do this, you know, that's when you talk through, okay, let's talk about what's going on. And you take the exact same approach that you've been doing throughout this entire discovery call of talking it through, having that conversation, coming from that place of let's understand what's going on, if this is a good fit, if you have any concerns about the investment, or if it's the right time, or if it, I'm the right person to help you, let's talk it through. If the answer is no, Okay, great. Then we'll have a great conversation and wrap it up. If the answer is yes, I will help you talk through that because that is your job on a discovery call. You're not trying to persuade someone to work with you. You're basically helping them think through the, the objections that they have for themselves. You're helping them get the answers they need to make the best decision for themselves if it's right to work with you or not. And that's how you do an easy and simple discovery call process that works and is feels good to both of you and is non salesy Now, I do have another great video for you, which if you are afraid of handling the I can't afford it objection on your sales calls, you are going to love. I'm gonna link that for you somewhere on this screen and or in the description below. So make sure you check that out. It's my video on how to handle the I can't afford it objection on your sales call. And so there's one other thing I've got for you, which is a great free PDF on a 15, 15 second script. I can't remember, 15, 20 seconds, super short script to get your first paying client. So again, I will share that either somewhere on this screen and or in the description below, you can go ahead and get that PDF if you want it. And if you're new here, make sure that you click the subscribe button to be notified every week when I release a brand new video on building your own online business. That's it for today. Leave me a comment if you loved this and yes, and you want to say yes to non-salesy, easy discovery call scripts that work. And thank you for being here. I will see you next time.